Hello, long time no see, but I'm back with a new video where I'll draw and paint animals in this mid-tone paper sketchbook. Let's go! When it comes to drawing, I have fun drawing without any constriction lines, but directly with strong loose lines. Don't be frightened of drawing your first lines when sketching. They can always be changed. You can go back afterwards to create new ones, to create better shapes. The first line isn't really that important, so go for it. Because the paper is mid-toned, I really like beginning my drawings with these white lights. They are made with white gouache, and gouache can easily be mixed with watercolor, so it's something I have no complex doing. As always, I try to put several colors in one to enrich the painting and make it more realistic.
once again with this light horse, even more because the basic color is so light. I put as always several colors with different hues in the shadow parts. You can see here pinks and oranges, even purple or greenish areas. I come back to add contrasts. Even if the animal has a general light color, the shadows should never be shy. When drawing, I try to use a colored pencil with a color that I think will fit the future colors of the subject, but not exactly the same either. I try to create a nice contrast with an interesting color that I won't erase in the end. Once again, I use white gouache to start with white and light areas. It works because the paper is mid-toned. On a white paper, I should try to keep these areas light by not putting paint on it, which is a completely different way of thinking while painting.
not afraid of putting very different colors just against one the other. Here for example, warms and cools. I trust the watercolor when it comes to the melting areas. I know it's gonna be okay. Watercolor is the tool to mix things and let them flow one into the other. at first how to deal with the fur here, but brush strokes after brush strokes and melting after melting, I think I'm quite happy with how it went. Slightly fluffy, but not too soft.
Here too, I went back with colored pencils. I'm not used to this technique, but I have been enjoying it lately. I use them to come back with colored lights and enrich even more the color palette. Here you can see me adding pinks, yellows and even reddish colors or green ones to create nice and rich lights and reflections. And here is the final spread. Do you have a favorite? I hope you enjoyed this video and that I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!